Hi, Mazer. Welcome to the Pride. I'm Corbin Villa. And I'm Danny Chesler. And today we have a student spotlight on Nyan Wood. There will be a Sterling Scholar meeting on Tuesday, October 29th during lunch in Mrs. Plott's room. Sterling Scholar is open to any senior. Talk to Mrs. Plott for more information. Sophomores, fall session of ACT prep will be held November 6th, 13th, and 20th from 3.45 p.m. to 7.45 p.m. at Mazer. Come learn tips to ace the ACT. This is free to all sophomores thanks to the Trust Lands Committee. Sorry for everyone else, it's $125. Seating is limited to the first 30 students who sign up, so make sure you get to the front office to get on the list. We are in need of five ambassadors for Philippines. Please contact Mrs. Smith in room 116. Do you like money? Of course you do. Seniors, the FAFSA application is now open. The sooner you reply, the more chances of getting money. See Ms. Sorensen with questions. The annual college carnival is today from 1 to 3 in the gym. Food, fun, and prizes for the entire family. Admission is free. Nyan's beard is gone. Yeah, we have a spotlight on Nyan Wood. Uh, my name is Nyan Wood. I am 15 and I'm in ninth grade. We, for uh, Shakespeare, we did a scene called Troilus and Cressida, and I acted as Troilus. Shakespeare saw the Iliad and added a love story. Troilus is the brother of Hector in Paris, and Troilus has a crush on this girl for like a couple years, and this is the story of how they meet. There was one time when we were performing, and Sarah Hailstone was in the back, and she walked up as we finished the scene, and she's like, I just heard a couple girls passing by, and they thought we were in actual relationship, and they were like, oh wait, they're acting, it's fine. It was almost like I wasn't acting, because I was able to be myself. I just felt like I could be him, his thought process, the way his mannerisms, they're a lot like me. I grew a beard to make it look more like, to make myself look more like a man. We were talking about it last year, me at Gerber in, in my computer tech class. She just asked the question, can you beard? And I'm like, I don't know, I'll try over the summer. And then I got one. The entire time while we were at Shakespeare, I looked around at high school groups and there's a couple of girls and a few guys just always looking at me. It took tech people a second to realize I had a beard. And once they got used to it, they got to the point where they just randomly, they either ask, ask, ask if they could touch it, or they just randomly in the halls, in the, while I was in the middle of a conversation, just brush. And I eventually got used to it, but at the beginning, it was the weirdest thing in the world. <laughs> there are some benefits in having a beard and the fact of your face isn't cold. There's a lot of people, since it's, we're starting ninth grade this year, they'd never seen me last year. So until they realized it was all, all all ninth grade class, they all thought I was some sort of like senior or something. Tell me about your experience with the barbershop. <laughs> I've never had it done before because this is my first beard, so and I've never had a straight edge uh, to my face before, so it had a weird feeling. He, he compared it to just like like a tickle in a way, and it kind of was. On, in some ways, the stuff he did was soothing, like he put the warm towel on the face. I do not want to shave it. Like, I don't want to shave every day. That's going to be, the, yeah. Okay, so why did you have to shave then? It's a part of the school policy that I agree to that unless there's a certain reason with drama, in my case, to be clean shaven, and I already agreed to that, so truth, honor, virtue. I do volleyball, and so I just do a whole bunch of sports, which sadly this year they kind of con conflict each other, so I might have to choose between sports and drama. I played soccer to uh, seventh grade and eighth grade year, and I did cross country seventh and eighth grade year, along with all the drama stuff, and then this year I played volleyball. The team, like I said, is like a brotherhood. As the, most of them are seniors, me, Robert, and Carson Scott, we all seem to elevate ourselves to that level, which pushes us to go farther. I'm being uh, trained as being the setter. I can have people to help me and push me to be better. Current setter is Amon Hassan, and he's been on the team since he was a freshman, so he's very good. So I have a big, sho big shoes to fill. 
Have you bought your yearbook yet? Because you probably should do that. Thomas had a nightmare. Spooky. See you next week, Mazer. Godspeed. Yeah. <laughs>